Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back into my craft space. Today I just thought I would share with you uh, this beautiful free printable uh, that is being offered in Junk Journal Trading Post by Rachel Bella Crafts. It's a Facebook group. I will try to put the link down below. It's a free group and um, it is run by Rachel Bella Crafts and they provided this beautiful printable so that um, you can take part in one of their challenges that's offered. So what was the challenge? Well, I think there's three of them now. Um, the first challenge was to create a collage master board and I'll put a picture of it somewhere up here. Uh, I've already cut this one apart, but um, they're so fun and easy to make. I made this one with my subscription group, Crap House Fun. Again, another group on Facebook. Um, that one is a subscription group though. Uh, and we have a ton of fun in there. So we spent a couple of hours collaging and then I cut these apart. And what I'd like to do now is show you the pieces that we made and then we're gonna go ahead and embellish them just a little bit further. So I was able to make uh, three tags. So my collage master board started out as a nine by 12 piece of uh, pink cardstock. And then I collaged all kinds of papers and even some napkins and uh, the free printable um, pieces that were all torn up, uh, some die cuts. And then I stenciled on it. I sprayed uh, ink sprays on it. Some of them are oxides, so you can kind of see the cool oxidization that I got. I also did some stamping on there. Um... We did some inking, some stenciling. Yeah, we just had a great time. So I made three tags. I made two cute little um, banner pieces here. And then um, two little tabbed journaling cards, which I cut with my punch board. And this one, the tab goes in the other direction. So that's kind of fun. And then um, I have two extra little pieces here that could be uh, journaling cards. Um, or they could be like, I think this one would make a really great uh, cover front. And that I think was one of the other challenges was to make a, um, a cover out of one of the pieces of your master board. Um, and then uh, there's another challenge as well to um, make certain amounts and pieces of ephemera and uh, decorate them with some uh, different mediums. So I thought today I would go ahead and um, further decorate these. And uh, we'll just see how they will come out. Um, the first thing I always like to do with my tags is add some eyelets to the holes because I feel like it really adds some support and stability to, uh, to the holes there. So I'm gonna use blue because I think it's really gonna pull out the blue on these two. And then I think maybe on this other one, I will put a pink one. Um, now this, uh, these papers are from the Rachel Bella Crafts Nana's Roses collection that just came out. And I absolutely love all of the colors, these pinks and greens and blues, just so, so beautiful. So if you haven't seen that or collected your uh, collection yet, definitely do it, especially since there's a chance to Play with some of the papers before you purchase uh, in this freebie if you are part of that Facebook group, which is a free group, so um, all free. And it's really fun over there. Uh, everybody is really nice and supportive, and you can post some of your work there. You can post videos there. Um, everybody is just um, so much fun and uh, willing to provide so much inspiration for others, and I just love that. Okay. So we'll just put these eyelets in here and we could do a blue one here, but I think it's kind of nice to draw out this pink just a little bit too. I love these colors. Um, now, one of the girls in my subscription group also did her master board already and she focused more on the green that was in the collection and I thought it was really beautiful that way too. So you can kind of draw out whatever color that you see. Now look at this, this is funny. Um, these were sitting right next to each other on my paper before it was cut out so you can kind of see those stems work together. And then, um, let's see, where, where might this one have been? Maybe over here. Yeah, it was. So this is how it was together before I cut it apart. Um, again, I can put another picture of the master board up here, but very fun, very fun. Okay, so we've already got some eyelets in there. Absolutely love that. 
Um, I'm also going to go ahead and ink around all of these um, edges here. I'm going to use uh, faded jeans because it is my favorite blue. Although I haven't gotten my hands on prize ribbon yet. I need to. And I bet I might have a different favorite blue. We'll have to see. Okay. So this one is pretty, um, pretty wet ink. So I'm going to try and just uh, smear it around a little bit. A little more heavy handed with the ink than what I normally am. But like I said, it, um, it has a lot of ink in that pad. So we'll just try and use what's in the pad for a little bit so we don't get that quite heavy uh, with all of it. Okay. That's perfect. You can ink the fronts of these as well. If there's any little strayaways like that, you can trim them down. Uh, these would also really be nice to sew around if you like to sew. Uh, you could add your own slow stitching or machine stitching or even some faux stitching with some stamps. There's lots of ways to add stitch lines. You could even do it with a pen. So um, if you don't have a sewing machine or don't know how or like to sew, there are still other ways around it. So don't worry. Let's put some ink on this side here too. I may need to trim that just a little bit. Looks like there is a little piece hanging out here. There we go. So it was nice that I was able to get 10 pieces of ephemera to use out of my 9x12 uh, master board. I don't always get quite that many, but um, just depends on the size I start with. I generally like to start with an 8x8 size of a master board um, base piece and work from there but um, that will give you even smaller pieces so um, these were just um, some two by six strips that I cut out of the master board and then I punched them using a uh, tag topper punch so it turns your scraps into tags and it works wonders I love it Okay, so we'll just work with these tags here. We've got these all inked, good to go. It's no fun watching everybody ink, so we'll just move on from that. So you can see, I just got kind of some, you can do a little lighter with your inking or you can go a little heavier handed with the inking. Um, I tend to usually be a little lighter. Like I said, this ink pad is pretty juicy, um, so it comes out lots of ink, but that's all right. Um, still plenty of room for journaling or whatever you want to do in your book there. So we're going to add some fun things here and see what we can do just to jazz these up just a little bit. Got my um, Ryobi heating up and we will be using some hot glue. You can use whatever glue you are comfortable with. I also have some pieces of lace and um, hopefully this is the right blue. I didn't really look at that yet, um, but I kind of wanted to help focus on this blue here just a little bit. And you can put this lace like anywhere, but I feel like right here it's really blue already. So this just kind of adds to it there. Um, you could put it down here or you could put it up here. Um, you could make a fun little ruffle on the tab piece there, but I really quite like it down here. And I feel like it is um, a pretty good blue to to mix here. So oops. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that and it looks like this piece didn't get much stenciling um, or the stenciling was just cut off or on another piece. So I'm gonna use my stencil. This is just a Tim Holtz stencil. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that right back in because I do really love the stenciling. And here is where it comes in handy to have a nice and juicy uh, ink pad and you can just kind of brush it right in there. Um, it is nice to use your 
makeup brushes for stenciling because it gets down in there a little easier but I'm just using this pad here and you can see the stenciling just kind of adds um, a little bit of pattern there we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of it over here let's see and don't be afraid to turn your stencil around and get some different shapes going or um, use different pieces of it you don't have to use the whole thing you can just you know use parts and pieces get it all together oh I love that okay so that definitely added um, a little more blue to the mix and I like to use my silicone brush when I am hot gluing so hopefully we will have this all warmed up to go there we go I start with just one end uh, when I'm gluing so I can make sure I have it where I want it to go nice and straight and evened out and then I just have to pull it along here now depending what you're doing with this journaling card you might want to consider that before you put much bulk on it if you're gonna put it in a pocket and the top piece is gonna be sticking out um, you know you can go a little bulkier on the top if it's gonna the whole thing be in a pocket you might not want it to be um, two three-dimensional because it won't fit down in the pocket without taking whatever um, embellishments you put on the top out so um, keep that in mind when you're putting things on here we'll just straighten this out a bit and you can bunch it up like a ruffle or just like I said keep it nice and flat if you have extra glue it'll just peel right off if you're using one of these silicone brushes which I absolutely love this angled one seems to be my favorite <laughs> Okay, so cut this off. You could easily add some ribbon or something else. Um, I've got some cute little buttons here sitting out. This one I stamped on. It's not quite the right color, I don't think. Let's try one of these lighter blue, like teal-like ones. Oh, that's kind of fun. We could also add the button kind of up here. Um, or we can just leave it like this. So we've got some uh, inking and stenciling and um, some lace there. I think that's actually pretty good. Uh, we could add some sequins though. That might be fun. Let's see. favorite pair of tweezers that I like to use with sequins but I can't find them so we're just gonna go on without them um, I also have these little flat box that might be pretty to glue on here yeah I think I do like that let's see what it looks like with two or three there um, I've got lighter and darker ones I think the eye normally likes things in threes. Um, I sometimes like things in twos, but that could be cute. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. So now we have the tricky task of gluing them down. I normally have my favorite pair of tweezers that I use for this, but I'm not seeing them. They kind of sink down in my little cup here sometimes. Erg. I probably sat them somewhere and they disappeared. can try and use these other ones. I don't know how successful I'm going to be with these ones, but we'll try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, these ones are a little more challenging to use. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get along okay. My in 
intent was to put three blobs of glue there, but it didn't quite work like that. So we shall see how we can get along here. Sometimes it's easier if you just flip them right into the glue. Or maybe even drop it in there. One, two, and I was just using some hot glue. You could also use um, tacky glue or your art glitter glue or whatever kind of glue you like to use. All right, now I gotta get them, try to, try to get them straight before that glue dries. There we go, that looks pretty good, I think. Pretty straight. Okay, so that's fun. So that is one all decorated up. We've got ink and ribbon and um, stenciling and um, there is some Mod Podge of a napkin on there. Really fun, I love that. And some stamping, very cute. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. It's a lot like that. Um, I was just thinking, I have some little flowers that are out and about here somewhere. There they are. These are super cute little flowers to put. These are Prima flowers. And we can easily put those, let's see. I've got dark blue and light blue. We can kind of make it ombre down if we wanted to do three in a row right there on the tab, but it kind of looks like too much to me. Let's see. Maybe we could just do two and separate them out. Hmm, that's kind of pretty. And we can also put a little piece of our lace back there. Is this the right blue to go with them? I don't think so. Uh, let's see, I've got this piece of lace here. We can just add a little snippet of trim right there, which I think will be really pretty. Now, when you're gluing your lace and your fabrics, you can use Fabri-Tac, you can use three-in-one glue, um, any of those things. You can also use a, like a gel medium. I like to just use my hot glue most of the time. And if the fabric or lace or whatever it is tends to want to curl one way, I generally just go with it in case if it, um, you know, that way not I'm not fighting it, but um, sometimes, you know, you might have a pattern on one side or there might be a right or wrong side. In that case, you have to kind of battle with it, but otherwise I just let it do its thing. And I'll just maybe trim around this so we can still see the shape of our tab here. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the lace too much. There we go, that's great. And then um, we might even just put one flower. I think one flower might might be enough. And let's get an, a brad of some sort. I have this little box of brads that I always keep at my desk here with a variety of colors. Um, not maybe the best way to store them, but it does come in handy when I'm just looking for or something. Oh, look, this is a, these ones are super tiny mini brads. Um, they're like the mini minis. And these ones are pink. These are by Queen and Company. I absolutely love Queen and Company. I don't know if they still sell these brads, um, but they do sell a variety of other embellishments and I love them. Okay, there we go. Finally getting it open. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, the other tweezers that I have have a way better point. There we go. That still worked, though. I guess the best tweezers are the ones you can find, though, right? <laughs> okay, so I'll put this little pink, pink guy here in the center of this flower before uh, gluing it down. And we could have put this through the... Um, the lace before we glued it down too, and I would have given it a little more stability. You could poke it all the way through if you want to, um, rather than gluing it, but I don't want to have to hide the brad tails on the back, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue it here to the lace, like that. Okay. 
And one other thing I sometimes like to do with those flowers is to stamp on them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that this time, though. I think it might just be pretty left alone. Sometimes I put my scripted font stamp there over the petals, and it really does provide an extra uh, little element of interest. Super fun. All right, we'll just push this down. Be really careful of your mini brad. Um, when you're pushing it into hot glue, it can be a little on the hot side. Transfer through there. Okay, so we've got lace and a flower and a brad. We still have our stenciling here. We've got some stamping here. So I think this one is pretty great. All right, moving along. Let's see what we can do to our little tags here. Now these, you could easily wrap around. I think I have some out, some little paper clips and make a paper clip. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if these ones are big enough. Here we go. So you want to use the longer part down here. And you can put this through like this. And if you want to use a brad on these, um, this would be a great way to do it because you could easily put your brad through here. Well, let's just do it. <laughs> No need to explain it when we can just do it. Let's find that little micro mini brad again. They're super tiny, but I think they work very well with these uh, flowers. And these are smaller than the um, eighth inch ones. They're just super tiny. And we will go ahead and put this through our flower here. Ooh, so tiny. Okay, and the best way to poke a hole for these little tiny guys is to just use um, a pokey tool. This one is by We Are Memory Keepers, and this is like one end where you can close the, the brad tabs and one end where you can poke. Kind of figure out where you want it to go. And we'll just go ahead and poke this hole right here. Don't get your finger in the way. Ooh, and it's a little tough because it's all collaged and layered, but we will get there. All right, we got it. And um, I just remembered, I kind of want to put um, a sequin in there as well. It'll make it a little shiny and I think that will be very pretty. So let's pull one of these little sequins out. Okay, so that is really tiny as well, but our brad is super tiny, so um, tiny with tiny. And these sequins generally have holes in them already. Oh boy. You can see it doesn't add a lot, but it does add just a little bit of detail. So the brad through the sequin through the flower is the plan. Let's see if I can make it do that. There we go. There's the sequin, kind of. Hmm, that one I think is, where did it go? Hmm, yep, that one ran away. This one is green, but that might be okay. Oh, it's on my finger. Huh. Let's see, let's see if this green one to hold is a little bit better. Oh my goodness, this fiddly work is just not for me anymore. Oh. All right, let's see if we can just do like a two for one. We might have to use a bigger sequin because these little tiny ones might just be too fiddly for me. 
Um, I sometimes like to use the sequins for like shaker elements and stuff too, but that's what I use these little bits for. Oh. All right, well, ha, huh. I think I got that one finally. I had to stab it on the desk first. <sighs> Nothing violent, just getting the brad through the holes here. Okay, there we go. And really, it didn't add a lot, but, it, but it's there. And I know it's there. All right, through the paper. Here we go. Squish it down as far as we can. And separate these little brad tails. I just repainted my nails today. There, I saw some really funny comments. I, I don't know if they're funny or not, but um, I don't know if I really took it as funny, but people were like, um, you know, some people really need to get a manicure before they do their videos. But um, most people will tell you if they are an artist or a creative, it's really hard to keep your nails good, especially when you're using products like these glues. It just eats the polish to no end. Okay, so we've got our brad in there. We've got our little clip in there. We've got our flower on there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue. And we will close it up. So I'm sorry if my nails ever offend anybody. I try to keep them looking at least decent while I'm on video. <laughs> I know you I know it's hard not to notice when that's what you're seeing but okay so then this will just easily slide on a page or um, you know even one of your little journaling cards like that to provide some extra embellishment so let's do our other one here I had two there we go and you can add extra sentiments, you can add a little piece of lace, you can add just about anything. Anything goes on these little guys. Let's see, this one's more pink, so I think I'm gonna put uh, this little piece of lace here and then we'll put a larger brad that's pink. So we'll just kind of play on that pink there. And it won't be so fiddly with the sequin. <laughs> we could put a button. Um, I've got this button. I don't know if that's my favorite though. And you could actually even stitch it through. Um, that would be quite nice. Let's see, I've got this lighter pink. That's a bigger mini brad. Yep, I think that's it, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, fold this around the paper clip first. want to make sure we get the longer side to work with somewhere. There we go. Oops. I'm going to go in this way so it can fold back over. And you can make these any length that you really want to. Um, one thing though is to make sure that you're able to hide, if you're using brads, able to hide those tails and any glue that might be back there. So this glue, or this lace, we can glue down first or we can just secure it with the brad. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of glue and then I'll also put the brad. I feel like it doesn't hurt to have just a little extra glue. And then you can use your pokey tool or you can um, use your crocodile. I like to use my crocodile just because uh, these bigger brads, I feel like it gives it a little easier chance of going through correctly there. 
Oops. I did punch a smaller hole and I'm using a larger brad, but that is because I didn't want to make too big of a hole. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and make sure these brad tails turn this way. And that we can, again, hide them between our lace and our paper. So we'll just go ahead and add some extra glue. And then um, you can either squeeze it or just press it down really good. And it looks just like that. Super cute. I love that. So we've got two different little uh, paper clips here. We have made our little um, journaling tab cards, have some ink and some lace and some flat backs or some lace and some flowers with the brad. Uh, so, so cute. And then all of our tags have uh, this eyelets in there and you can easily add lace or whatever to your tags. Let's see what this looks like here real quick. I'm going to go ahead and give it a point. And we'll want maybe about this much. Give it another point. Now sometimes people tie these and sometimes they do like I'm doing here. We'll see what it looks like this way. And if we don't like it, we can always change it to the other way. Um, this curve at the top sometimes make it makes these tags look a little funny with uh, lace and ribbon, but I do still like it. Let's go ahead and pull it through like this and we'll see what it looks like. I think I may wind up taking this out and just tying it. Well, that looks okay. So you can leave it like that. And um, if you made it a little longer, you could even um, tie it up here. So I'm gonna leave that one like that. Um, let's put this one through and we'll just tie it and we'll see what the difference looks like here. And then I think the pink one, I'm gonna leave without lace. At the top, we'll just do the blue ones. this one just a little bit longer since we're going to tie it and you can just um, tie it in a square knot or you can tie it in a bow whichever way you like to tie it kind of looks really the same um, I'm just going to tie it in a square knot so there we go it does look just a little bit different and um, get all of our tools out of the way here and we can admire what we've done Oops. and um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you will head on over to Junk Journal Trading Post uh, with Rachel and Bella Crafts and make some beautiful master boards of your own with this uh, free printable that they are offering from Nana's Roses collection and work on some fun pieces of ephemera for your next journal. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Rachel, for this uh, free printable to work with that is just so lovely. And uh, I have been super excited to make this collage master board and then to have these fun pieces of ephemera to decorate afterwards. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, I am so excited that you have found my page and my channel and would love it so much if you would subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and comment. Uh, if you are a returning friend, thank you so much for your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.